For those who have been watching some of my other videos, I built um, a couple of um, pulse jets. Um, the, the aim was to try to run them on petrol. Using an Arduino and a car fuel injector, we were injecting fuel, the quantity of fuel required. Then I was timing the ignition to fire after the um, pulse of fuel. And we also had a delay, which ends up being the cycle time. We ended up getting those um, pulse jets to run on that. The original aim was to try to get a pulse detonation engine running on fuel and atmospheric air. Um, I had some success getting it to run uh, for the pulse jets, but I could not get detonation as such. I'm moving on, I'm building another engine, which is very similar to um, so many of the YouTube videos that the universities etc are running, which is a closed end for the fuel or combustion chamber so we'll be injecting fuel into the um, one end we will also be injecting air in there which will regulate the air to get a, a right, right fuel mix and also timing it between pulses so we should be able to get a timed pulse and if we get the right reaction in the tube um, we will, should be able to get a detonation now there has to be some mechanical devices placed inside the tube to be able to get detonation and I'm hoping that when I build the mechanical device to go inside the tube we will be able to get detonation. I'll just run through how, how what, what I've built so far. What we have here is the intake end. What we have on one part of the Y is the intake for the air which will be regulated with a needle valve and a tap which is just a tube opened with an orifice on the end and that is injecting the air into the middle of the combustion chamber here and it will be uh, under compressed air so this because it's a sealed unit this other side will have the petrol fuel injection so this will be like a car fuel injection again um, this will actually be the bottom of it so I'm preheating the fuel so the fuel will come down this pipe be preheated and come into the injector which is on the bottom the other one at the top is so it bleeds and so we have fuel in there not air and bubbles and that sort of stuff this will be mounted into the top here with um, a fuel inject off a motor car which is triggered by voltage uh, 12 volts and also triggered by voltage is our spark which will build a putting a spark plug approximately here and uh, that is timed with the Arduino and the fuel is timed with the Arduino and the distance between the pulses is timed with the Arduino. The mechanical, the mechanical section will go in this, this section here and then that's the exhaust side. This one will go on the end and what that should do is give us a better chance of detonation and also keep the charge going backwards, not coming back and flowing in the reverse direction to what we require. If we get this whole thing going what I'll end up with on the end here, if I get it detonating, what I'm going to have on here is water injection. So I'm running another coil on this end for water, which will be coming coiled around there. So that's preheating the water, quite hot. We inject it in through the back with a series of small holes, and hopefully we will be able to get, because of the pulse detonation with the heat, We'll probably be able to get superheated steam. That's what the aim is. So this would end could end up being a superheated steam generator um, on a budget. Now, if we get a steam generator, of course, there's many things you can make with a steam generator to use it for. And one of the things is a Tesla turbine. Fuel injection normally would only give you an atomized fuel with preheated. I'm hoping that will also make it hot and more readily um, converted into a vapour which is going to be more expensive than a, than, a, than a small molecules of fuel floating in the air. I'm going to go through now and cut the ends off, shorten these down so they're half size, weld these, these two pieces together. That's probably as far as I can go until I get my fuel injection set up. 